Hey, aloha everybody. How we doing? Coming to you from northern Peru. And I wanted to start shooting and uploading clips from here to all you in YouTube land. I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Aldo Tassar. I'm Pure Digital Maui, Pure Digital Media. Um, I changed the name of my channel to My Life Be Like. I've been involved in YouTube since its inception, before Google bought it. Got in early, got, in, got grandfathered in to the program. Um, pioneering this whole little world of mine and the whole YouTube partnership program for since 2006. 2008, officially, 2007, Google bought YouTube. 2008, they came out with the business model. And that's where I got um, hooked up. And I've been all by myself for a while there on Maui. I don't know if anybody else is in the partnership program on Maui, but maybe nowadays because everyone's in it, uh, in on YouTube finally after 20 plus years I've been telling everybody. But nobody listened. But it's okay. Better late than never. Well, I'm looking to relaunch uh, my YouTube channel since I decided to relaunch my life. I don't know, it was just um, time to move on. After 20 plus years on Maui, um, you know, a few factors came into play. Mostly my amazing need to preserve my lifestyle. Uh, I'm single, no kids. Somehow I dodged all that. Um, I'm stoked. I'm ready to have kids too now, but... Um, I'm in northern Peru. Um, a lot of things happen. There's a lot of things happening in the world right now. In the last seven years, I've been ahead of the game. I'm kind of a closet, cosmic astrology buff. Been messing with it since I was like 15. Um, I'm Aries with Libra Ascendant, Capricorn Moon. A uh, couple other stuff, but I don't want to bore you with that. But uh, it's not boring. I just, you know, I think everyone's waking up to it now. I've had gurus guiding me all along. I've had angels watching over me since I was born. I got a new angel in the sky. My mom passed away in 2016, which was huge heartbreak. Took me a while, but a couple years went by and I finally let her in and she came to me and she's like, what are you doing? Go finish that dream. That plan you had in Peru was, was so good. I've been coming to Peru for the last 12 years. I've always wanted to live here. And Maui kind of lost its, its vibe, kind of. Um, all the wrong people were moving there for all the wrong reasons. I found myself feeling a little eggy. A lot eggy. I would, you know, get away from everything, go in the water, and go surf. But that, that, I lost that. The, you know, I'd go in the water and it'd just be full of people that just didn't know what they were doing. Um, none of the uncles were around anymore to, to regulate. It was just chaos. Um, I needed more waves. Um, it keeps me sane came to Peru when I was looking for long waves, big and long, but mostly long. And I fell in love with a couple waves over here. But then I found up north, which is, God, it's amazing. It's just like Maui. It's northern Peru, um, tropical. It's called the El Nino Current. It's where the southern Humboldt Current meets uh, the El Nino current, which is just off of like 20 degrees off the equator. And I've been here a couple years now. Amazing. Um, you got whales that visit here every year. Um, one of the most biodiverse oceans, marine life. Super unique. Warm waters, great waves, 
all year round, dual exposure surf. Um, so I solved that problem. Um, while I see all my friends and stuff starting foiling, they all wanted me to start foiling with them. But I was like, you know what? I already found this solution. I want waves. I'm still in love with my rail. Foiling is for places where you don't get waves all year round. Maui, Hawaii, you get three months out of the year, great waves. The rest of the year, it's like waiting around for something. Here, I got my hands full. <laughs> Love it. And no crowds. Peru is like the land that time forgot. It had some politics in the early 60s and 70s that kind of, I don't know, the place just got kind of isolated. But in a good way, it's like they're like 40, 50 years behind. And it's in a good way because it's really been preserved. You know, the love, respect, consideration, understanding, all that stuff that's lost on the mainland, or I should say in the States, uh, in Hawaii, uh, in most places. And of course, right when I'm recording this video, usually I'm all by myself and quiet, but I got people around. You never know. It's all good. But, um,. I just wanted to reach out to you guys and say, you know, think, you know, what do you guys think? Um, I really want to relaunch this channel. I'm going to show you guys everything I've gone through. Um, I basically, my mom passed away and I really wanted to keep her memory alive in me. And what better way than to move to Peru? Because here, everyone's the same. I can smell her, see her, feel her, you know, everything around here. It's amazing. And great opportunity for new work, new spirit, new energy. Um, I got a lot of people who got a lot of love over here. The Aloha spirit is so present. It's amazing. I never thought I could beat Maui. But unfortunately for Maui, it's not going in the right direction as far as the vibe and energy. And I love all my people over there. I love all my Kanakas. I love all my Hawaiians. But it's a tough life over there. It's kind of going in the wrong direction. But then again, the whole world is getting rebooted, reset. As of like seven years ago, it started, and I'm at the end of it. And... I'm doing good over here. You know, it's been a challenge. It's been, it's got its high points and its low points, but way more high points than low points. Low points is just transitioning from American to Peruvian. And simply my only low point is trying to become legal here. My mom's Peruvian, so they say it 